This is your challenge for day one. It is one of the most difficult things to encounter and to solve. You sit in front of your blank page, whether you are a drawer, whether you are wanting to make animations or you are a writer. It's just not coming. This is a method that I have used all my life. When I was a student, even I think when I was a child, I would sit down and just write down whatever came to mind. If it is uh, the laundry, it's it's the laundry. If it is, I don't know what to write, then you write, I don't know what to write. But keep it going for at least 15 minutes. Don't stop, just go on. Because then you are getting over this conscious, you sort of, <laughs> how do you say it? You are going over your borders of yourself. You are overruling your willpower and you are letting some other force that's inside you come out. A little bit more subconscious. Now, this is the first way to do it. The second way is to go into a program on the computer that will work as a sort of buddy for you. We're going to make a habit of writing 750 words a day. And I can tell you 750 words is a lot. You can do it by hand. It would mean that you write about, if you write normal, it would be about three pages. But these days I prefer to do it on a computer. And therefore we have this site 750words.com. It's a free website. It only has one purpose. And the purpose is that you can write your 750 words in private. It says here, I'm being inspired by an idea I first learned in the artist way. And I learned that over there too. I had this book at least twice in my life. I bought it at least twice. And again, I've given it away to somebody who might need it. And it, it's a really a very good way of forcing yourself a little bit out of your control, you can say. Because it's so much that you have to write that you cannot control it anymore. You just have to go on. And you start to write rumble and nonsense and stupid things and are going to repeat yourself. There might come memories or there might come problems that are there but are not really surfaced to you. It's a good way of forcing yourself to go a little bit further. I've done this in, in a lot of times in my life. You can experience the same if you, for instance, go for a long walk. Or I also have experienced it when I was a sculptor and I was working in stone. If you work in marble the whole day, it starts to free your mind. It's not very pleasant. Also, this writing of seven for fifty words, 750 words, might not be so pleasant. But if you continue doing that, there will be a big reward. First of all, when you have finished the 750 words, you are happy <laughs> that you made it. Because yesterday I started again. I'll show you what it looks like if you're inside. Now, I can start writing here. I can start... No, yeah. Start. I can start. Yeah. You can see down here it says I've written three words. And over here, yesterday I've written 750 words. And I've gotten two points for that. So that's all of your reward. Nobody's going to see your text. Only you. And after maybe a month, I hope you would keep it up for a month. You can look back at what you have done. It's a sort of, of, of buddy, but a very cheap buddy because it's free. Try it out. See what uh, you have hidden in yourself. Uh, push yourself a little bit and see that you get this done. It, it only might cost half an hour a day. And it will be rewarding. Well, it is for me anyway. Go on. Let's do it.